Are you hungry? Huh? Oh, you want what I got in my hand, don't you? Yeah. She says, oh, Mom, I know you've got food. I know you've got food. Yeah, you want Hope to come? Just bring some food. Here you go. Yummy, Mom. Yummy, Mom. Give me something, Mom. Give me something, Mom. Oh, guess what? And she's like, well, I can't get it. I don't know what the deal. Oh, got one. You want this? Huh? So, nummy numbs, saints. Nummy numbs. Oh, gosh, that's so good. Thank you, Mom. Oh, yeah, do you ever do that with a hamburger? Oh, nom, 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 nom. So, today, saints, you see, Hope's got her nose in that bucket. And she's like, oh, yeah, this is so good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What? A, what? I'm telling you what. When you watch her eat, it's like, okay. I get it. You like it. You're enjoying yourself. You know, this is like a ritual for her. But, um, saints, I just wanted to share with you quickly. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19 my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Not only is he going to go out and find the provision. Yeah. Woo, yeah, I don't know about y'all, but that looks like it'd be a little difficult for me to eat. But, you know, the horse, it, it's like perfect food for her. She's like, come on, Mom. Put it in there, Mom. Yeah, Mom. Yeah, it, I promise you, if you want to catch hope, just bring food. How many of us are like that? Yeah. Do you ever get stuck, saints, and think, um, wow, Lord, where's my next dollar coming from? Where's my next meal coming from? The Bible says don't fret about that. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, saints. You're so pretty, Hope. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Okay? You'll have a new bucket, a new curry comb, a new hoof pick, a full bucket of food, hope, hay, clean water. See, uh, the horse and, and you know, the dog, he, he's not worried about where his next meal is coming from. Seriously, saints, he is not concerned about where his next meal is coming from. He's chewing on a piece of alfalfa now. Yeah, you're not concerned a bit. See, now think about that, saints. The dog knows he's going to get another meal. He don't look like he's lost a pound lately, and he hasn't missed a meal. Just look at him. 140 pounds of Rottweiler. And uh, no, he doesn't like strangers. He's not friendly. But guess what? He's happy and peaceful because he knows he's fixing to eat. Although, like I said, he's chewing on a piece of Hope's um, compacted hay. Hi, Mom. Hello, Hope. Saints, God will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Hope's not concerned about her next meal. She's got an owner that will take care of her and, and spend money on her and keep her up. Okay, you have a creator that will die for you to give you eternal life. And if he can take care of the birds, if he can take care of the horse, if he can take care of the, the Rottweiler, and, and, and the cat knows she's going to get fed. You know, she'll come get me and say, Meow, meow, meow. Mom, I'm hungry. I'm starving here. Ooh, Mom, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, see, he even licks his lips for us. Well, his muzzle. Hello, Timber. What's up, Timber? What's up, Timber? Hi. She says, hello, people. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, she, you, hey, that's a cat for you, right? So all of the kids can help preach the gospel, the good news. Jesus is Lord. He died on the cross for you. And guess what? 
If he died on the cross for you, he can certainly supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Saints, put your nose in the bucket and enjoy the provision of the Lord. Don't be fretting. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. You, you can be in the driest place and the Lord will provide green pasture for you. You can be in a dry lot just like hope and you'll have water aplenty. You will be fed. You will be cared for. You, you know, the Lord will clean you up every single time you ask him. You know, it's advised just to quit going back to your muck and mire. It's advised to live holy before the Lord. But, you know, the cool thing, saints, is God provides rain on the sinful people and the sinless people. Okay? Sinful, sinless. You got to pick whether you want to be sinful you know, full of sin, or if you want to sin less. And and the cool part is you can seriously learn mm, to stop it before it even becomes sin. When that thought comes, saints, if you're not worrying, if you're not worrying about where your next meal is coming from, if you're not worrying about where your next dollar is coming from, if you're not worrying how the light bill is going to get paid for and how the kids are going to get through college, you know, you'd be seeking first the kingdom of God and you'd realize that you can live free from sin. You don't have to be in the sinful category. You don't have to be in the sin sinless category. You can be in the, I ain't sinning no more, Lord. And if I do, I have an advocate with the Father. Saints, none of us are without sin. None of us are without sin. But if you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things will be added unto you. That means you're going to be in the word. You're going to be seeking the word. You're going to be living, eating, breathing the word. And you're going to know, just like Hope knows, she's going to get fed. And if she whinnies at me enough, I'm going to get up out of the bed and I'm going to come feed her. If she hollers from this pen enough and she lets me know she needs something i'm coming to her saints if the cat okay if the cat and the dog know that they're going to be taken care of they know they have someone that loves them and is going to take care of them how much more should we know That the Lord is going to take care of us. They, they have an owner to take care of them. We have a creator. And he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord. You will be saved. Believe that he is able and that he is a rewarder of them that seek him. That seek him. Saints, it's not about... I, I want, I want, I want, I want. He will meet your needs. Yeah, I'm sure Hope would love to get out there in that green, beautiful pasture. She'd love to get out there in that green grass. You know, we're always wanting something that's on the other side of the fence, saints. But he said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. But my God shall supply your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. I got to that point and I said, Lord, thank you. I don't need anything. I don't want anything. You've given me everything. I've got eternal life. Thank you, Lord. Saints, I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you. This is sister with a testimony. Hope on a star, having her needs provided for her she doesn't want for anything she doesn't fret for anything let's be like these wonderful creatures that god has made he will make you to lie down in green pastures he will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory through christ jesus and if you seek his kingdom first seek his kingdom first saints Wow, you can lay down next to a Rottweiler.
if you're a kitty cat. <laughs> yeah. And she ain't scared a bit about that big old Rottweiler being out here with her. Why? Well, you figure that out, saints. Look at that. She was the baby. And her and the horse and the dog all know that they're going to be taken care of. I pray that you know that the Lord's going to take care of you. I pray for you that the blood of Jesus will continue to hide and protect and keep you. I pray that you will realize that if you seek him first, if you seek him with all your heart, you'll find him. Your needs will be met. And he will bless you exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. I bless you today. His sister with a testimony. Uh, hope on a star. Timber. Yeah, she looks just like the tree. Timber. And uh, Chief. Hi, Chief. And uh, we just bless you today. God bless you, saints. Have a wonderful week. Have a blessed week. Everybody's getting along. Isn't that cool? Hope normally, I mean, she won't let him in the pen with her. But uh, she's cool if he wants to pick up the, the scraps. Yeah, that's another teaching for another day.